Welcome back, and AMD along with its board partners have started sharing more details for the Ryzen 5000 Zen 3 desktop CPUs regarding undervolting, memory support, and overclocking functionalities. The information was shared by AMD on social media platforms and also by board partners during launch webcast for the Zen 3 consumer family launch. Video Cards managed to do a great roundup of all the details which AMD has officially shared over at its various social media platforms, such as Twitter, Reddit, and their own community blog. Several buyers got their hands on the AMD Ryzen 5000 Zen 3 desktop CPUs yesterday, and these details could get you more performance out of your purchase if you follow them correctly. Now, AMD's own director of technical marketing, Robert Halleck, was keen to share the details with the rest of us, and you can find useful information and we'll go through some of those here in the video. All of them will be listed over on the website in the link in the description if you feel free to follow those. Now Robert answered a range of questions over at Twitter which includes everything from overvolting, memory support, and precision boost as well as general support. So he went on to say that Ryzen 5000 series doesn't need a power plan, so don't expect to see one. Yes, it can clock to DDR4 4000 in one-to-one -one mode if you have a good sample. Upcoming Ajisa works will make this easier. Is the memory controller the same? Essentially, yes. Precision Boost is automatic overclocking. No, that's simply false. Precision Boost is their boosting technology. Every processor has a boost built-in technology. Theirs, however, is unique in that X threads do not equal Y clocks. Why? Because according to AMD, this is slow. But Robert, where's the undervolting? Well, the answer is it's gone. Temporarily, that is, for the 5000 series. It will be back in an upcoming Ajisa with new functionality, and it's going to be hype, according to him. And according to Robert, we've never seen undervolting quite like this. Should be quite interesting. Now, coming to memory support, AMD has once again assured that DDR4 4000 MHz memory is the sweet spot for Ryzen 5000 Zen 3 desktop CPUs. Users can expect a 2000 MHz FCLK or Infinity Fabric Clock support and even 2100 MHz as showcased by MSI. AMD also states that an FCLK of 2000 is not guaranteed for all samples, but they are trying to make it easier with that upcoming AGISA update. With that said, DDR4-3600 will still be the best memory in terms of price to performance ratios. Now, During its MSI Insider webcast, MSI also provided a lot of key insights into the AMD Ryzen 5000 desktop CPUs, including the CPU and memory overclocking capabilities of Zen 3 architecture. MSI first showed off a look at delitted AMD Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs, AMD is known to utilize a very high quality solder design in their processors which include IHS gold plating and silicon protected capacitors which offer better durability and proper contact with the integrated heat spreader to dissipate heat more effectively to the cooling solution than well, thermal paste really. Each of the three chiplets also feature a liquid metal thermal interface for better heat conductivity which shows AMD is still keeping its CPUs prepped up with high quality materials underneath. Now, MSI listed down overclocking voltages and resulting power usage based on its own internal testing. According to MSI, these are the overclock voltages they would suggest users to use. We have the voltages for each of the CPUs along with the power consumption and current ratings displayed. MSI also showcased that auto overclocking for Ryzen 5000 series desktop CPUs delivers slightly better results than what PBO has to offer. And finally, MSI showcased the memory latency performance of the Ryzen 5000 series CPUs, which has been vastly improved with Zen 3. MSI acknowledges that AMD's claims of DDR4-4000 being the sweet spot, and MSI also demonstrates latency as low as 49.5 nanoseconds with the FCLK at 2100 MHz or DDR4-4200 CL14. Last but not least, anyone who is getting an AMD Ryzen 5000 Zen 3 CPU should be ready to install their new processors on the 500 series motherboards with the latest Agisa version 1.1.0.0. Overall, this Agisa is designed to bring the AMD Ryzen 5000 series into the full performance and experience intended by AMD. Performance optimization is really the hero of this release, so make sure you grab the update for your motherboard when you're upgrading to the Zen 3 CPU. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.